Hey all, and welcome back to another quick tutorial on Powerlines Pro. Today I'm going to be covering the different types of data and report exports that you can get out of Powerlines Pro. In PLP, you can export plan, profile, and 3D DXF files, GeoJSON files, and different analysis reports for your needs. You can also create custom reports to export, such as a ground clearance report. To export your plan and profile DXFs, head over to the report tool, and you'll find both your options here. You can see that you can export a plan DXF for your entire model, or if you make a selection, such as selecting two conductors, you can click reports, and then you'll see that you can export that DXF for the current selection. You can also export a 3D DXF by selecting export custom reports. Here you can click add reports to add your objects that you want to model. For example, I'm gonna add my poles, and then I'm gonna add my strain sections report, which is my conductors in the model. And then you'll see those two reports pop up in your tab. You can now select both of them and choose a format of your export. For now, I'm gonna do a DXF and then you can see that you have the option to export it as a 3D model object. You can also export a GeoJSON file if you want to convert this into a KML file and overlay this on Google Earth. You can also make custom reports. By clicking the addition sign on these different layouts, you'll be presented with this pop-up. You'll find the title new report where you can create your reports. I'm going to click this button here, create custom report. You'll see two fields here. You can either choose your data source for custom report and then give it a name. I'm going to create a custom ground clearance report. And then I'm going to give it a name, ground clearance reports. If I click create, you'll see that this report gets added to the layout at the bottom. In this report, we can add extra fields, we can edit fields, and we can also filter fields such as, I only want to see ground clearances that fail and you'll be presented with that data. You can also export these reports by clicking these two export buttons at the top. You can either export it as a CSV or an Excel file. For all your analysis reports, go to the report tab again, and at the bottom, you'll see general reports. You can export a report for a particular group of constructions again, and you'll see them pop up in your related reports. You can export a bill of materials. You can also export different analysis reports, such as your tip load report. And you can also make other exports such as poles information, beam forces, stringing tables and such. Thank you for joining this tutorial today on reports and exports and I'll see you in the next video.